Mesdames et messieurs, je vais maintenant vous transmettre peut-être le plus important secret qui pourrait le plus améliorer votre ski et vous procurer le plus de plaisir à skier. C'est ce qu'on va vous présenter dans le prochain segment. Il y a, il y a plein de façons d'améliorer son élan au golf, de prendre des leçons, d'acheter euh, des nouveaux bâtons. Au ski, on peut acheter des nouveaux skis, des nouvelles fixations. Mais la clé du bonheur, de l'amélioration de votre technique en ski, passe forcément par une semelle faite sur mesure. Et il est maintenant... On est maintenant à une époque où l'amélioration des semelles dans vos chaussures, votre base, va même changer votre technique de ski. C'est ce qu'on va aller voir tout de suite avec un boot doctor célèbre de Wengen qui a même fait les bottes des skieurs en descente de l'équipe canadienne. Notre journée complète de boot fitting commence par un matin enneigé à Wengen, en Suisse, au magasin Intersport, où nous rencontrons Ashi okay. Gertsch. Un homme qui pratique cette science depuis plus de 25 ans et qui est une sommité en la matière sur la planète ski. 25 years ago I started boot fitting. Why I started boot fitting? Hmm? I realized in ski school when I tried to teach my customers that they was not able to do what I told them. And I started to analyze that. First, I was thinking always oh, it, they have the wrong skis, but then I realized they have the wrong shoes. Mm. They have pain in the shoes. Maybe they could do one side turn perfect, the other side not. Mm -hmm. And I started to think about that. Mm -hmm. huh? And that's how I came into that business. Mm. Huh? Then I started to preparing, to correcting the shoes. And my customers, they did straight away a progress huh? from class one to class four, five, six, very easily. Huh? Nous allons commencer par analyser ma position dans mes bottes freeride, des Dalbello Scorpion 110, et tout de suite, Ashigarch dénote que mes genoux sont trop avancés par 3 cm et que mes fesses seront par effet interposées trop derrière mes talons par la même distance. Pour most skiers, they always say that Well, boot fitting is for racers. Not even ski instructors sometimes will think about doing boot fitting. But what, you, what it comes to mind to me is m the less technical, less balanced, the less in shape you are, the more you need to be properly aligned to enjoy skiing to a maximum level. That's 100% correct. It's, it's turned to the outside too much. Huh? Huh? Or? They, they correct you too much, so you stand in too much now, like this. Just, just step on it in a natural way, like you, you have most of the pressure on the front foot, mm -hmm. on your little toe balls. Mm -hmm. And there is nearly no pressure on the big toe ball. The heel should be here in the center, huh? and you should stand on the two toe balls. Mm -hmm. And then on the heel, we see that the pressure is on the inside of the heel. Yeah. Mm? Because if we have this here, then also the knee is in the center. Yeah. Both sides, you have the same time of reaction. Mm. Huh? Otherwise, on one side you are too fast and on one side you are too slow in reaction. Mm. Huh? And it's very important that it's possible for your foot system that it can work. Okay. Huh? And cool. if we make a static system, like they did for you here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we are blocking everything. This cannot yeah. work. Huh? This is like concrete. Huh? And when you see, if we make a, a, a dynamic system, huh? then this can work here. And if you see you now, if we give pressure here, just over the, the heel here, huh? then we get a reaction on the big toe ball. If we have a free working dynamic system, mm -hmm. huh, you can start to uh, steer the ski across the foot huh, and not across the leg. If the knee here is in the center huh, uh -huh. of these three points on the foot, huh, ah, wait, okay. or, that means the, the triangle of, of, of the reaction huh, 
it works in a smaller triangle. Mm -hmm. huh? If the knee and everything is too far forward or too far out, this triangle here will be bigger. Yeah. Huh? How bigger this triangle is, how more time we need to make the reaction. The heel is the center of the leg line, huh? the cross of the foot line, the ski line. Huh? So all the skiing goes across the hill. The steering. That's the center of skiing. Which is and that's why opposite to everything. The hill is the most important part. That the heel is in the center, yeah. and that the heel, the ankles, the knees, and the hips, they are on one line working. And especially then, we ca if we can ski across the hill and make the steering across the hill, then we can start to ski fast. <laughs> Why that? If we go back with the weight on the heel, hmm, and we go across that, then we are coming into the steering part to ski fast. If we go with the weight back here, the weight it works in the center of the hill. And from here, if we go back, the weight it pushes forward, that means it makes you fast. Yeah. Because it's pushing forward. Huh? So if you want to ski fast, we have to be able to steer the ski across the hill part, that we can be back here to make speed. Huh? If you watch races, which skier in the World Cup is the one which is, is skiing most in this part here? Bodhi. Correct. <laughs> He understood that a long time ago, eh? Correct, yeah. How can he be in balance to play with the bumps and jumps and jumping in Kitzbühel or in Wangen? If this is too much forward here, mm -hmm. you cannot go back there to ski from here. Huh? Right. Because if you're blocked here, huh, what they do then? Sit they down. sit down. Way back. Huh? Or, and then you come out of balance. Huh? And no, we are again lifting the toes. Uh -huh. If we are want to be here and be in balance, what's happened? The foot comes up in the front. Yeah. Take your normal position when you're standing. Hmm? Uh, relax a little bit. Alors commence le processus de moulage des semelles sur mesure et comme vous allez le voir, il ne s'agit pas seulement de faire une empreinte de mon pied. La tâche du Boat Doctor sera de placer toutes mes articulations dans l'axe à partir de la semelle seulement. Et pour ce faire, il mettra sous la plante de mon pied une pièce de bois avec le bon angle qui va stabiliser toute ma position même en flexion. They are not going out anymore like before. Huh? Okay. Or, yeah. And right away Good. I feel more on my heels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In center. Yeah. On the heel you should feel in center. And when you go forward, you should feel a uh, pressure on both toe balls about the same. It goes all about your feeling. Yeah. Because if you feel good, then you can ski good. Now I feel equal. Very good. Okay. So this is the first thing we have to find out in which position we have to bring you that you work correct on the ski. Huh? And if we don't know that, we are not able to make a correct footbed in your natural position like you are. Huh? Uh, do you stand that wide or more to the line? Oh. In level with the line we did. Always work natural. Mm. Huh? That you feel good. Mm. Huh? Because if you feel good, then we are correct. <laughs> huh? No, here, across the ligaments here, I can feel huh, 
if he is relaxed or not. Huh? So here the right foot is very relaxed and here on this foot is still a little bit pressure on the ligaments here. Huh? So here I have to correct a little bit and now it's loose. L'attention au détail va jusqu'à l'utilisation d'un laser pour vérifier si mes articulations sont bien alignées et ça même avant de mouler mes semelles. Here, you, here is his hip bone, huh? and now you see huh? hip bone, middle of knee, middle of big toe ball is working. So now you can see the sound negative. Of his feet. Huh? And it's also not just the boot fitting, it's also changing the way people will ski in the future. Yes, yes. You have to play with this uh, balance over the balance point, you know, to find for each ski for the right point enough front power. Mm -hmm of back power you know and and playing yeah. playing having you to play yeah. when you, I yeah. see you do this yeah. it's exactly what a snowboarder does yeah yeah, yeah. the front foot goes first then the back foot yeah. goes second yeah. then yeah. the front yeah. foot goes back yeah. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what comes around goes around eh? yeah, yeah. it yeah. went to snowboard it's coming back to skiing <laughs> yeah it's everything the same yeah. I think. Oh. true yeah. most people they don't know how the new material really works Correct. The module of the boot? Yeah, they cannot handle the, 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 no, the, no, the equipment we have today. They can, they can use maybe 50-60% of it. And they cannot use it 100%. On s'attaque ensuite à la construction de la base de la semelle, à la faire chauffer pour ensuite passer à l'étape la plus cruciale soit le placement de la semelle molle dans l'empreinte négative de mes pieds, encore une fois, une attention méticuleuse est requise à ce stade-ci. OK, then stand up. And now working hard with your knees forward and back all the day. Huh? And this, I, I really feel that now the knees are not going outside mm -hmm. or inside. Most mistake, most they do when they do inserts, they build the insert on the side of the foot and not under the foot. So now this is the sole. Huh? And now you can see here, hmm? if you put this together, huh? the heel is in the center now. Huh? Also you can see here, I don't know if you see it, That, that he is standing on both, uh, toe balls here. Yeah. Uh. Ensuite, nous nous attaquons à l'architecture même de ma chaussure afin de corriger l'angle de mes genoux dans mes bottes. Ashi Gerch va soulever mes orteils dans mes bottes de 3 mm par rapport au talon pour ainsi me placer plus droit dans ma chaussure. Ce processus demande énormément d'expérience car les renforts au fond de ma botte doivent être parfaitement mis à l'équerre. Ensuite, il réduit l'appui derrière la chaussure pour me permettre de skier plus droit et coupe même le plastique pour permettre plus de mouvement vers l'arrière. Ensuite, on procède au remontage de mes chaussures et au moulage de mes chaussons Intuition. Ce processus permettra de mettre plus d'espace dans mes chaussons aux endroits sensibles. Alors que le chausson est bien en température, j'enfile le tout pour qu'au refroidissement, les chaussons épousent parfaitement les formes irrégulières de mes pieds. Cette étape est longue et peut-être voire même douloureuse le temps que les chaussons se rétractent. Mais une fois le processus terminé, on retire les mousses et on se retrouve avec une semelle et un chausson hein? parfait. Perfect. Mm. Huh? So means this balance between right. heel and pressure toe. and toe pressure, it's very fast. Huh? Sure. Or? Like, uh, yeah. It feels really good. 
There we go. Brand new boots. Perfect fit. Something that I thought was not possible to change my mind about the way to fit my boots. It seems like you cannot, there's nothing you cannot do. Yes. How do you feel in your boots? Well, I don't feel like I'm in ski boots now. I feel like I'm standing tall, just like I am in running shoes. Very good. So you feel at home, you feel like you have nothing on your feet, you feel like the ski boots are a part of your body. Exactly. Then we are there where you can start to feel what's going on in your ski and under your ski. Hmm. And no, because we're talking now about the information you get from the snow and the ski and now you can give the correct reaction hmm. to the ski. Not oversteer, not understeer, not use my knee to turn, use my leg to turn in the proper That's way. That's what we want. Yes, sir. <laughs> you, you deserve a round of applause for fitting my feet and bring back the joy of skiing into our TV show now. Thanks a lot again. You're welcome. Uh, I'll be back nice to, uh, to have you here, yeah. work on the race boats. Yes, for sure. And then you better You're watch very, out, boys. Very welcome. Okay. Yeah. So we will have fun. I'm already sure. having fun. I'm like... Yeah. I can't wait to film the yeah. test on snow. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Le plaisir de ski vous a été gracieusement offert par les magasins Auberson, 50 ans à vendre du plaisir par H. Grégoire, nouveau partenaire du plaisir de skier. H. Grégoire, on vous en donne toujours plus. Et par Island Lake Cat Ski à Fernie, en Colombie-Britannique. Un endroit paradisiaque pour le cat skiing.